All right, not many things are more troubling and disconcerting than cars just speeding along the street in front of your house. And in part of the Piedmont, the close calls are getting way too close. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 5 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Natalie Wilson. A ring camera captured video of a car face down in a ditch just feet away from a woman's house in North High Point. And as Fox 8's Madison Forsey reports, this isn't the first time she's seen something like this. Teresa Corwin wanted two things when she moved to High Point. I wanted a rocking chair porch and be less than two miles from a hospital. She got her wish and something else too. I love to sit out here and watch cars go by, but you know, not at 45, 50 miles an hour and running stop signs. It's just, it's just scary to me. She hears cars flying through the intersection of Ingleside Drive and Westover Drive every day. Wednesday, our cameras caught several drivers rolling through stop signs in hitting speeds of almost 50 miles an hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. But you can't assume now that when you come to a stop and you look both ways that you can go because the person to your left or the person to your right may not stop at all. So, and that's what scares me. The city put in a four way stop a few years ago after this crash caused a car to flip. Neighbors say people are starting to go back to their old habits. This happened in Teresa's front yard while she wasn't at home earlier this month. One car ran the stop sign and hit another. There's no telling if that ditch didn't stop him, you know, how far up, you know, could he have gone? Neighbors believe drivers are using Ingleside Drive as a cut through to avoid all of the lights on North Main Street from here at Hartley Drive to here where North Main Street meets Highway 311. Teresa and her neighbors want to see a flashing stop sign or anything to make people think twice. 90% are people who want to cut through, which I say is it's fine, you know, that's fine, but it just scares me. I wish just people would be more cautious. Madison Forsey. Just pray that, you know, nobody gets hurt. <laughs> Fox 8 News. We reached out to city leaders who say there are no formal plans to add traffic calming measures to the area. They did add they are open to speak with neighbors to see if the intersection warrants additional changes.